What a sign, spicy Scansion Scorpion. This is your love reading for the month of November going in December. So this is a four weeks energy. It was uploaded in um, the month of November. But these are timeless reading whenever you're having an issue. If you're thinking about um, is your girlfriend gossiping behind your back. This is the reading that is going to be showing it up. So... Um, what a sign, people. There's a lot of people you're dealing with. God, God, God. So I see cycles is ending for a cancer relationship. Um, I see a lot of you are going to be offering um new love is coming in. An offer of new love is coming in. Um, um, a lot of you, if you're looking for love, love is coming in for you. What a sign. Um, some of you water sign who ever had a child with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, I see this person is returning and want a new start with you guys. So I see this relationship was over and ended, but this person is still open up to have a relationship with you. So water sign people who were in a relationship with a um Aries Leo or Sagittarius, I see this person is open. To have some sort of a relationship with you. I see a whole lot of gossip. I see um, some of you, um, there is an Aries, Aries Leo or Sagittarius man that is gossiping with a, a Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman over some of you. You got to be aware of this. A whole lot of gossip. So what is happening? What is transpiring? Your um, basis of this month is that if you're looking for love, Love is going to be offered. A lot of you cancers are trying to balance out your relationships. I see a lot of emotional situations that is happening to a lot of you cancers in relationship and marriage. A lot of you cancers are going to decide to divorce an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man. I see you realize it is the best thing to do. I see a lot of you are looking for um, advice. You're going looking for legal advice in order to divorce this person or separate from this person. A cycle is over and a new start is going to be coming up um, for some of you. People who are married to an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius woman. I see you're divorcing this person and I see a whole lot of information. I see um, that, uh, you know, your parents is glad that you finally decide to end this relationship. So if your parents are fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, I see they're so happy speaking about uh, finally you decide to um, divorce this person or finally you decide to go out with this person. So a lot of you, you're going to be dealing with the Capricorns. You're going to be dealing with the Cancers, uh, um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, people with uh, 45 years and older. A lot of truths is going to be coming in. The worries that you had about your relationship is going to be over. A lot of you are standing your ground when it comes on um, to relationship. A lot of you who are married or divorcing a Aries Leo or Sagittarius, you're going to be so happy when you let go of this first year. You're going to be thinking, oh God, that was the best thing I could have done. A cycle is going to be over. I see some of you who were in a relationship with a Capricorn. Um... I see you're really working um, to bring this relationship to balance. A lot of you, a Capricorn that has uh, ended some sort of a relationship, it's not that they have ended it. I see a fire sign person is kind of um, intervening in this relationship. So it's not as if they have ended it. It's because a fire sign person has intervened in this relationship. A whole lot of you had no regrets. So Getting out of a marriage with a fire sand person, you are like, oh my God, I'm so happy. I am so happy that this is over. And you are going to be just letting go and just uh, leaving the situation and moving forward with your life. A lot of you are going to be finding out that a, um, that your husband that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius was always involved with a fire sign woman and Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And I see you're realizing and listening to their conversation 
that there was something going on. It's as if some of you did not trust this relationship between this woman and your husband. And you're right because you're finding out what has been happening and what has been transpiring. So let's go look at the first week. I see regrets. I see a lot of you women between the ages of 25 and 40 is regretting. You regretted a situation. You regretted something that you have done where you could have intervened in a Capricorn relationship. So you have intervened and done something to a Capricorn, your partner ex, and you regretted it because the whole, um, your partner is uh, resenting you for what you have done to their ex. So then I see in the second week, a lot of you are trying to work on a relationship to see if, uh, um, you can, um, balance out this relationship. But I see that whether you're in this relationship is open for a new start. Um, so, you know, you're working in order to, um, keep this relationship balanced. But the, your partner has already realized that they need to leave this relationship. So I don't know how you are going to be dealing with it, but it's as if you're not realizing that this relationship is over. Um, they're not. Uh, um, looking forward to work on this relationship, however, it's coming up. Then I see a lot of you men are going to be deciding to divorce a Aries Leo or Sagittarian woman. And you're finally free from this woman. It's like you business women were dealing with this woman and it is just a, so an annoying and you are finally, um, ending and you're finally getting rid of this woman. And you realize that you have made the right decision. Then I see the energy of uh, a lot of you who were married to an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius man. You're realizing that this man fall off uh, same sex. So this man is in, interested in the same sex relationship. And this man as an, uh, 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 someone they were seeing. I see that this man is interested in the same sex relationship and not in you as their wives because you are the opposite sex. So I see a lot of you are going to be realizing, wow. All right. Okay. I'm understanding now. It's as if some sort of information, some sort of information is going to be coming out where, um, you both realize that, uh, there was some sort of a, it's as if you, you kind of feel as if something is off in your marriage or in your relationship and you are in a relationship with an Aries or a Sagittarius man and you're going to be finding out that this man is um, attracted to the same sex. And I see that some of you are going to be hurt and some of you could be um, saying to, you know, this man, secretary or this man um personal assistant yeah i think you have a relationship and the person is going to be so upset and just said listen um your husband fall um fall for other young men okay so just don't get me involved in this so i see a lot of you are just going to be just spitting it out because this is if a lot of you are going to be and i see it's a fire sign woman is going to be saying hey listen Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, I see that um, your husband, um, uh, you know, you have been, you know, saying that your husband um, is involved with me. Your husband have feelings. No, your husband is um, <clears throat> involved with a young um, man of the same sex. So I see this is this this situation. It's like a lot of you have been uh, arresting another person. And I see this is happening. You young women, I see a whole lot of gossip over you young women. A whole lot of gossiping. Young women between the ages of 18 and 45, there's a whole lot of gossip about you young women. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you young women, so much gossip. Um, Your friends are gossiping about you. And I see it's because of something that you have um, got them in and they're realizing and they find out the truth about your relationship. A whole lot of you are hoping to receive some sort of a new offer from a Capricorn person. They are not interested. They don't want to move on with the relationship. Um, a lot of you 
or you know hoping that uh, this Capricorn person will reunite with you but I don't think that this is going to be happening okay um a cycle is going to be over and the cycle is going to be over because a lot of you are realizing that it is better um to move forward and let go of a relationship a lot of you cancers relationship or marriage could be ending in the spirit especially in the two last week of november going um and i see a lot of you um are trying to work on your relationship um a whole lot of you are looking for new starts in your relationship is coming up um a lot of you businessmen are going to be deciding to focus on your children for a while and let go of relationship because you have gotten yourself in so much problem especially businessmen that was connected to an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius woman 45 years and older or just a fire sign woman you're going to be realizing that it is um you know just let go of these outside influence out your marriage there's a lot of outside influence in your marriage and you're going to decide to stay in your marriage and uh, give more attention to your kids. And I think that that is very important at this time. So a whole lot of you businessmen are going to be coming home on time and making sure that you're there for your kids because you've realized that a fire sign person, two fire sign people have gotten you in some exchange things where you could lose your family and your marriage is on the rocks at this moment so people are going to be finding out and a lot of you businessmen is going to be finding out the deceptive play of a um fireside person you're going to be finding out if you are in a relationship with a fireside person this person could have let you lose your life or let you end up in a jail a lot of you are realizing that uh, whoever you are that was in a relationship with a Aries Lee or Sagittarius man, this man is totally ridiculous. And I see um, this man spend more time with their with his um, business partner that is an Aries Lee or Sagittarius. And I see a whole lot of people are gossiping over this because they realize that the man and this woman could have had a relationship because the man spent most of his time with this woman and I see you water sign people are not even seeing that and a whole lot of people are gossiping about this behind your back so be aware new love is going to be offered a whole lot of you it is a month where um you could be hoping for love or other people are hoping for love you're going to be connecting and this is going to be good a lot of issue is transpiring where i see some of you are just going to accept what is going on and you're not going to be fighting against what is transpiring you're just accepting um the situation the problems uh, you're trying to resolve ill relationship problems and that sort of a thing and you're realizing um that at this moment where you are in your life when it comes up to relationships that you're going to be thinking what it is that i'm really looking forward to you know what has this marry or what has this relationship has uh, given me um do i get what i was open for out of this marriage or relationship so i see what a sign people have been really taken and it's going to be taking this four weeks period time in order to consider it and think about what you have gained in your whole entire life from a marriage or a relationship or relationships on a whole. It's about going back and thinking, um, how has this been for it? Um, myself? How have I, what have I achieved? Is it that my partner has achieved uh, what they wanted, what it is that I was looking for when I get in this relationship. And it's all about you really going within and trying to figure out, um, you know, what is the meaning of relationship and what does relationship, um, how does it affect me and how does it affect my partner? Is this what both of us was looking for? Do we need to make changes or do I need to see this thing through and then, go in search of my heart's desire 
And I see a lot of you who are dealing with the fire sign people are going to be letting go of these fire sign people because you realize um, that these fire sign people has created a whole lot of issue. And in order to find the right person, you have to look within the, the energy of the water people or you have to look um, at the Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn because that's uh, um, the collaboration is that you are um, um, balancing out uh, your frequency so water is with earth and the hair is with fire so a lot of you who are in relationship or have been in relationship with fire sign people you're going to be realizing that this is not where you need to be and i see you're going to be really looking within to find out uh, what it is uh, who it is is my soulmate twin flame and who is it that I'm compatible with? So I see a lot of you water signs are really getting down to the drawing board. It's as if some of you, your Kundalini could be rising um, because the ship of energy on this planet. And you're realizing I need to be with that person that I was meant to be with. I'm not with someone who manipulates me in a relationship, but I need to choose the person I want to be in a relationship with, how I can change my life by finding that person who is going to be um you know and showing me an healthy um relationship and is going to be definitely um collaborating in order to balance out my energy and my relationship so i see a lot is going to be coming up and a lot of things it's as if some of you young people or especially young ladies are going to be um um, confronted with what it is you're looking for in a relationship and how you want to be treated in a relationship and you're going to be searching for your partner and I see that this is going to be good because you're going to be away so you young ladies there's a whole lot of gossip you're gossiping um, and you know when you gossip be constructive when you're gossiping. A lot of you um, young ladies, I see a whole lot of people are gossiping over you young ladies. So young ladies between the ages of uh, um, 25 and 40, a whole lot of uh, gossiping is going on, especially for young ladies between the ages of... Uh, um, it's like young people. It's like, you are you know... Be constructive, ladies and gentlemen, and get out of other people's relationship if they're not um, discussing their relationship with you. I don't think you should be involved with their relationship. So I am going to be saying to you, I love you guys. I got to go. Please like and share these uh, videos. Um, go and check out your extended because each and every person has their individual extended for their individual zodiac sign. Please thumbs up, like and share. Namaste until next time.